Shalom, Rabbi Kurt Landry here. Welcome to Ancient Principles and Kingdom Authority. On this podcast, many of you have asked, how do we pray in the courts of heaven? How do we do intercession? How do we walk through that? And so in order to answer that question on this podcast, I'm actually going to invest this time actually taking you into uh, the courts of heaven the way we do it. And like if you called and you were on the call with the the uh, uh, the warriors here at House of David, Kurt Landry Ministries, then uh, basically you're going to experience it on this podcast. So you might want to hit share and subscribe because this is a way to get spiritual results. And so one of the, first of all, I want to target. So let's target what I think is the most important thing in spiritual warfare, and that's personal identity. You need to know who you are in him because you have a covenant right. You're born again, praise God, you're filled with the spirit. But how do you break the assignment and those yokes and those demonic uh, thoughts that you have that came from your past that have held you back? How do you how do you disengage from them? How do you, so to say, cleanse your cup of your life out and fill it afresh with what God wants to pour out? And one of the reasons not knowing how to do spiritual warfare for your identity is, is important because what's at risk if you don't embrace your identity and reinforce it spiritually is that when you do not experience the Lord and allow Him him to tell you who you are, then what happens is you turn to other things to fill in the gap and, you know, like toxic relationships, drugs and alcohol and addictions. And many of the ways we try to fill this gap will not succeed and they'll, they'll not produce good fruit. They only waste time and money and you and others are hurt by them by this false narrative and experience. So when the truth prevails, it's the truth that heals. So you stand in true identity and faith. God says, and the just shall live by faith, according to Romans 1.17. So once you put your mind on him and it wraps around that truth, there will be a release in, the, in your faith. And as you wait upon the Lord and your needed miracles and breakthrough, this is the faith that holds you while you're in that waiting stage. That means that from a time that you speak it out, from the time you pray, claim, and decree it, from the time you actually start believing to the moment of the breakthrough of your deliverance, faith is activated. So uh, Hebrews 11.1, 1, to back that statement up, says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the courts of heaven right now. I've got about 15 minutes, and what I want to do in this 15 minutes is actually take you into the courts of heaven, and I'll kind of break it down, if that's all right, okay? So first of all, one of the things I do personally is I say, Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus right now. And Lord, I ask, the first thing is, I want to come out of that big wheel, I mean, out of the, the little wheel that's spinning my life, and I want to dedicate, let's say, let's dedicate this next 10 minutes Lord, to going into the outer will, which means that that is sustained, that is like eternal, that Lord, I choose to give you in focus in this next 10 minutes and do what you say is to put me into remembrance of my word, as you say in Isaiah, and let us contend together. And so, Father God, as I prepare, just as I would going out to dinner with somebody important or visiting somebody in an important meeting, I'm going to change clothes right now. So, Lord, I'm going to take off my shame, my guilt. I'm going to take off my doubt, my unbelief, and the things that have hindered me and have, uh, so to say, uh, uh, camouflaged my identity. And I choose now to wash myself in the blood of Jesus from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. Now, as I'm doing that, don't just listen to me. Just go ahead and say, amen. Say, we wash ourselves from the top of our head to the soles of our feet in the blood of Jesus. And we decree that these temples, by the power of the blood, we're pleading the blood of Jesus and that we are cleansed and we our sins have been expunged, which means they have been removed. And now, Father God, I'm going to put on the full armor of God now that I've been cleansed. I'm going to put on the belt of righteousness. My identity is in my righteousness. I'm going to put on the, the, the sandals or the shoes of the preparation of the gospel. So, Lord, wherever I walk, I will be able to walk in the power of really, when it says the gospel, the power of the expunged blood of Jesus, which 
makes me not accusable so I can walk in liberty. I put on my priestly breastplate of righteousness, the ephod, and Lord, I take the helmet of salvation. I, I thank you that that salvation is, it keeps my mind at rest that I have been bought and paid for by the blood of Jesus. I take the shield of faith. I quench every fiery dart that tries to stop me from believing of this full armor of God. I take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And as I prepare myself with that sword of the spirit, now, Lord, I enter into your mercy courts. And Lord, as I enter into your mercy courts in the spirit, I kneel before you with my full armor of God on. And, and Lord, I, I lay my sword down and say, Father God, it is your word and just judge heavenly father, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, this day I've chosen to for to uh, ask you for my daily bread as I forgive those who have trespassed against me. Thank you, Lord, that you have forgiven my trespasses. And so, Lord, I just come to you this day, and I ask you as just judge that I choose to have a revelatory experience in the courts of heaven in this next few minutes of my true identity, because Yeshua is the Word of God. And he became the word. And your word says, Father God, I decree it now in the mercy courts of heaven before my just judge. If you obey, if you abide in my word, and you are my disciple indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, according to John 8, 31 through 32, by abiding in the word you will know the truth. Lord, I choose, just go ahead and say that right now, I choose to abide in his word. The Greek word for know in this passage means to have trust in the truth or to have relationship with the truth. Father God, as I kneel in the mercy courts of heaven right now in the spirit, if you can just imagine that, you're kneeling there, you have the full armor of God on, and you say, Father God, I choose to trust the truth and believe the truth. And Lord, it is more than just the head knowledge of the truth. It's believing and practicing the truth, putting true identity that sets me free. And I, Lord, I thank you for that in Yeshua's name. The word says, Lord, that I choose to be like Joshua and, the, and what you told Joshua when he went into this new season of leadership this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall, you will make your way prosperous and then you will have great success. So let's make this decree in the courts of heaven while we're spiritually, so to say, on our knees before the just judge, heavenly father. Lord, I choose to seek first the kingdom of God and your righteousness, and I decree that all other things shall come unto me. I'm claiming my identity as a child of God. I decree, Lord, release a revelation of a spirit of sonship or daughtership. That is to know that uh, that I will operate in childlike faith. Lord, release your confidence, Lord, in me that I might trust you. Release my purpose of my life that I might trust in you. Lord, I turn my heart and I position myself as a co-heir in Christ, fleeing, Lord, uh, freely receiving uh, and fleeing from all doubts and all unbelief and freely receiving according to God's word. And I ask that the Holy Spirit himself bear witness in me right now. Holy Spirit, I ask that you bring your fire, that you bring your, your authority, <coughs> you bring your uh, experience, and Lord, release that sonship in me now. That, Lord, you talk about in Romans eight seventeen, <coughs> and if, if a child, then an heir, and if an heir, God, a joint heir in Christ. I decree and declare that I am a joint heir in Christ Jesus. Lord, I decree your word that I have the mind of Christ. Let the mind of Christ be in me according to 1 Corinthians 2.16. Lord, I believe and expect God's promises to manifest in my life according to Isaiah 55.11. 
they shall not come back void, but they shall prosper in that which they are sent to do. And Lord, I will live according to the Holy Spirit, not in the flesh, according to Romans 8, 13 and 14. And so, Lord, I thank you that, Lord, in the courts of heaven, let it be recorded this day, these words that I speak in your mercy court on my knees with the full armor of God, Lord, that you are confident, that I am confident, Lord, in thy God-given identity and purpose, according to Philippians 1, 6. Lord, I decree that I want to operate in that purpose and that identity alone in Yeshua's name. Lord, I welcome God's direction and discipline, correction and direction in my life, according to Hebrews 12, 7 through 8. Lord, correct me, steer me while I'm on my knees before my heavenly Father, just judge. Thank you, Lord, as the angels hearken on to fulfill the word of my purpose and you release them. Lord, I choose to serve you because I know you have fully adopted and accepted me according to Ephesians 1, 4 through 6. All rejection, all counterfeit identities, I cast them off and I totally identify, Lord, with you. Lord, I receive the favor of God this day by being here on my knees in your courts and every spiritual blessing is yes and amen according to Ephesians 1 through 3. And Lord, I thank you that I will be led by the Spirit of God for your word says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Lord, let it be written in the courts of heaven, in the mercy court this day, just judge, that I choose to be led by the Spirit of God. I am a son of God, for I did not receive a spirit of bondage again to fear, but I received a spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, whom, go ahead and say, I cry out, Abba, Father, according to Romans 8, 14 through 15. And Lord, I thank you that that Lord, in the courts of heaven, as a child of God, that I have been legally purchased. Let it be recorded in the courts this day, just like if when you're, you're water baptized and you get a certificate. But Lord, let there be a certificate in heaven be released this day that I am a child of God and that I have been legally purchased by the blood of Jesus and therefore you have known the Father can boldly approach the throne room of grace in time of need and any time. Thank you, Lord Father God. From this day forward, I have a boldness to be able to come into the heavenly courts of heaven without confusion. I don't have to know all the different aspects of understanding spiritual warfare in the courts of heaven. I just have to start from this deep place of in intimacy as a connection, as a child of God, taking every thought captive and making it into the obedience of Christ Jesus, according to 2 Corinthians 10, 1 through 6. Six. And so, Father God, every every word that comes against and says, I'm not worthy, I can't succeed, I'm not going to make it, I choose to cancel those words now. I come out of agreement with them. I thank you, Lord, that I'm free from fear and shame and insecurities. And Lord, and, and Father God, I put like a spiritual bubble around the surface of my mind, and I lay hold of the foot of the cross, so to say, and Lord, I decree the blood and plead the blood of Jesus, that my thoughts and my angers and my bitterness of the past cannot and will not take hold of me. Any past disappointments and failures. And Lord, I just thank you, Lord Father God. I declare these words and my identity in the Lord is I am a son. I am a daughter. I am a king and a priest according to the order of Melchizedek. I have full inheritance as a right as a child of God. And I choose to soak in that presence in the name of Jesus. For Lord, I thank you that I am in the operation of one new man, where Jew and Gentile come together as one new man. And in the courts, let it be decreed today that I have full citizenship in the courts of heaven, that I can come in according to Galatians 5 and 6. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcised nor uncircumcised availeth anything, but faith worketh through love. Lord, I thank you that I'm on my knees with the full armor of God as a king and a priest and a child of the king. 
And I thank you, Lord, that your word says that you no longer do I call you servant, for a servant does not know what the master is doing, but I call you friend. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you, according to John 15 and 15. So, Lord, I thank you that you're making your ways known. You're making your identity known. You're making your glory known to me in Yeshua's name. And, Lord, your word says in Colossians 3, 1 through 4, If then you were risen with Christ, seeking those things which are above where Christ, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God, sit, setting your mind, say, I'm setting my mind on things above, not on things on the earth, for you have died and your life is hidden in Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory, according to Colossians 3, 1 through 4. And Colossians 1 and 17, as I close, in the courts of heaven, your word says, Father God, in this wonderful time in the courts of heaven, and I release and record this new birth, this new identity, this new peace, this new power, this new inheritance, this new authority. Your word says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, and say right now with me, say, Lord, I am in Christ. I am a new creature. I decree and declare, let it be recorded heavenly. Father, just judge in your mercy court. All things, all old things have passed away. I, I dust my feet. I shed them off my life. I take hold of, behold, all things are new, according to Colossians 5 and 17. And Lord, I just seal this work by the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for the power that's in these courts, that it's be sealed. Let it be sealed in the books. Let the angels of the Lord hearken on them to fulfill. Let my guardian angels that are round and about protect me for my purpose and my identity. And Lord, let the peace and the joy and the health, let my body be healed now from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And I seal this work in Yeshua's mighty name. Well, God bless you. I hope this literally, when the question came in, how do we pray in the courts in heaven intercession? I don't know how to really teach it, but I hope that we actually really just did it. And I hope this experience has blessed you. You can do this. So stay with us on ancient principles and kingdom authority as we press in in this new season of time into deeper things of God so that you can get the spiritual results you desire for your life. God bless. We love you and shalom.